The New York City's council set to meet this afternoon to vote on a first-in-the-country package of regulations for ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft that could include a one-year cap on new-for-hire licenses in addition to setting a minimum wage for drivers. All this following increasing congestion around the city and an outcry from taxi drivers over the plummeting value of taxi medallions. Uber and Lyft say the cap on drivers will reduce service to those without easy access to mass transit and increase wait times for everyone. They've also lost, launched a massive lobbying effort and called on users to reach out to the city council to delay today's vote. The companies even called for a hardship fund to help taxi medallion owners. That proposal was rejected, and they've even shown support for congestion pricing, though there doesn't seem to be much movement on that front. Similar legislation was proposed three years ago at the city council level, but that failed. But today it does seem more likely to actually pass. Given Uber's regulatory, regulatory run-ins in Bulgaria, Italy, France, and the UK, today's vote is surely to be watched around the world and, of course, in those pre-IPO markets for the valuation of this company. Back to you guys.